This video is sponsored by Euro Optics. Their American sales staff are all shooters, hunters, and outdoorsmen. If you call, they actually pick up the phone by someone who knows their products and will steer you in the right direction based on your needs. Their inventory is listed in real time, so if it shows in stock, then it is in stock. They ship all orders the same day and offer one and two day delivery commitments. Check them out at eurooptic.com. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a comparison with the SIG P320X Compact versus the Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro. Both these handguns are similar in many ways. Both have a 3.7 inch barrel. We can see right there, slide length, barrel length is the same. And both carry 15 rounds. They're both chambered 9mm striker fired. Both are optic ready. And I own both. They're very nice handguns and I've enjoyed them. The SIG came out in 2019. This one came out last summer. I have more experience with the X Compact, but I love the Hellcat Pro. So let's start with the SIG X Compact. P320 X Compact. When this came out, this was the hottest gun in the industry. A lot of people took notice of this. You'll notice a longer beaver tail right there at the grip a little longer than the hellcat pro very nice grip texturing does have that indentation there get three finger contact as i mentioned 15 round mags right no sight holes on the back sight holes on the side and it comes with an x trigger now the x trigger is a flat face trigger this breaks right at five pounds very nice trigger i've never had a complaint with the x triggers a full pick rail right there already mentioned optic ready sig has the night sights in the rear and the x-ray 3 front dot and it is a, a large dot and i i like that that sticks out a bit when when you're at the range and i, I really think that sig does a nice job with their night sights it has an ambidextrous slide stop Overall, a nice feeling gun. It's a bit thicker. It's a bit wide. You look there, 1.3 inches wide, right? The grip is a little bit wide, but it has a nice ergonomic feel, and at the range, it really performs. This, this has been great since day one. I understand why there was so much excitement over it, because people wanted, well, at the time, they had the X-Carry, which is a larger SIG P320 model. This is an X Compact, a little bit shorter, as mentioned, 3.7 inch barrel. Nice handgun. You're looking at, in today's market, right around 600 bucks for this handgun. But over here, we've got the Hellcat Pro. Now, when Springfield came out with this, a lot of people were excited. It's a larger Hellcat. Okay, in terms of the grip length and the barrel you're looking at 3.7 inches other than that it's it's a hellcat that has a very fine reputation i have several and i really enjoy the hellcat line they have what's called a adaptive grip texturing i'm going to give the grip the overall feel to the springfield one of the reasons why is that if you look at it's a little bit chunkier with the sig i don't know if that'll pick up but it's a little bit chunkier with the sig it's a nice grip I, I don't have a problem with it this is just a, a little bit thinner i feel like i have a a stronger grip on the gun it also has a bit of an indentation in there both have undercuts in the trigger guard 15 round mags this does have the sight holes in the back of the mag i prefer that but each of the mags are, are quality there's no doubt about that instead of a full pick rail on the sig this has the two slot pick rail. I'm giving that to the SIG. Both have forward serrations. The sight system is a U in the back. You can use that to, to rack. It does have a ledge there. You could rack it on a belt, on a boot. Same with the SIG. And a tritium night sight. Also a big large dot right there. All right, that aligns really nice. I've become very familiar with this sight picture, and I certainly 
think it's pretty awesome. The trigger is what Springfield calls a Gen 3 trigger. I don't notice a great difference. They shaved off a half a pound, okay? The standard Hellcat has a five and a half pound. This has a five pound trigger, the trigger bar safety. It's also a flat trigger, but when firing, nice crisp break with a reset right there. Hard to say which trigger. Both perform great. I love both triggers or both flat face triggers. I'm not really biased toward flat face triggers. I can go with either, but I think both manufacturers did a nice job. It has a sight hole indicator right there. As I mentioned, optic ready. Uh, I, it came with a hex wasp. I took that off. I wanted to go in its smallest configuration. The Hellcat Pro can be picked up for right around 520 to 550. That's what I'm seeing in today's current market. You're looking at 600 here, 50, 60 bucks, a little less with the Hellcat Pro. Both both are great. I, I think <laughs> it's, it's, it's tough because I own both. I don't have a bias either way, but I think both are fine handguns. If we look at the slide width, we'll see that the SIG on the left is a bit wider, as I mentioned. And then the grip is a bit wider as well. The grip length is approximately the same, but the overall circumference of the grip is a bit wider. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why didn't you compare that with a P365XL? Well, this is my comparison today. These are the two that I have, and I have quite a bit of experience with both of these. Let's go ahead and get each of these on the scale. The unloaded weight with the P320X Compact, 25 and a half ounces. With the Hellcat Pro, you're looking at 20 and three quarters ounces. If we put the X Compact back on the scale, throw 15 rounds on there, 34 and three quarters. Here's your carry round. You're looking at 32 and a quarter ounces. The Hellcat Pro is a bit lighter, 27 and a half. So you're looking at approximately four ounces lighter with the Hellcat Pro. And go. Disassembling these handguns, very simple. We'll start with the X Compact. Slide is locked back. I'm gonna take this lever, just push it down, release the slide, and off comes the slide from the frame. Here we have a dual recoil spring and the 3.7 inch barrel. And that's what you're looking at with the slide and the frame. And it's pretty dirty, I need to clean this. And over here we've got the Hellcat Pro. This time we're gonna push this lever up, drop. We will have to pull the trigger here and also a dual recoil spring and also a 3.7 inch barrel. And that's what we're looking at with the slide and the frame. Both these handguns have been very reliable. They have fed, fired, and ejected everything that I put through them. So I have no great difference to speak about in terms of reliability or accuracy. I really enjoy both these handguns and they both serve a purpose. If I'm looking for a, a larger than a three inch barrel carry gun, I'm going with the Hellcat Pro. I, I like it that it's a little bit thinner, a little bit lighter, easier to carry but in terms of just going to the range and having a great time i'm going with the x compact i think this thing is just a, an incredible shooter a little bit heavier not worried about recoil with nine millimeter but they're both very nice handguns i'm just proud to own both what i really want to know is which one would you choose if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe